We can set a dynamic output file name using the set property shape. You can even use multiple parameters to create complex dynamic values for file names or directories. As we'll soon demonstrate, one method is to use a profile element. So let's learn how to use these elements within the documents to dynamically set a file name so that our process will essentially make more sense. So let's say we're reading in multiple files, obtaining appropriate data, and now we wish to write them individually to disk so the naming convention makes it easy to understand what's contained in each file. In the previous process execution, the files were simply using the timestamp marked in milliseconds. Using this naming convention really doesn't tell us much about the data contained in the files. Now observe these file names. If we use this naming convention, we understand the relative context of the file. We could get more complex, but even with this simple naming convention, we can clearly understand which document is for which account. So let's examine where this name came from. Somewhere in the data, there's a reference to the company name element. We can reference this element by using a profile. The XML profile we are using was generated earlier, and we simply use the set property shape to pull in the profile element. 